Welcome to BioEthicsAmpsBody.com. In this video, we are going to discuss about how cramp stain works. Cramp staining, staining procedure for differentiating bacteria of a Christian cramp. Classification of bacteria into cramp positive and cramp negative is based on the difference in cell wall composition. Now let us have a look into the details of cell wall composition of cramp positive and cramp negative bacteria. In the case of cramp positive bacteria, the cell wall is made up of two layers, an outer layer, epithelial ligand layer, which is very thick and followed by a cell membrane. Here, the liquid content is very low. But in the case of cramp positive bacteria, it has three layers. There is an outer membrane which is made up of glycopolysaccharides. Uh, this is followed by a thin layer of epithelial ligand and then a plasma membrane. In cramp negative bacteria, the liquid content is very high. Now moving into the procedure, prepare a thin smear of bacteria on a clean slide, cover the smear with a few drops of crystal violet, that will stain the bacteria, wash excess stain under a gentle stream of running tap water, add a few drops of iron solution, add in solution here acts as a modern. A modern is any substance that improves the staining property, we have iodine fergus, the binding of crystal violet with a picture of and silver. Now under the microscope, we, could, we can see all the cells in violet color. This is the most crucial step in ground staining. Wash with 95% ethanol for a minute. On washing with ethanol, the bacteria that retains the violet color, or color of a crystal violet is gram positive one, and the bacteria that loses violet color is gram negative one. The difference in retention of the stain is due to the difference in the cell wall composition of cramp positive and cramp negative bacteria. Now we will be moving into, into a close look at what happens after ethanol treatment. In cramp positive bacteria, while absorbing under the microscope after ethanol treatment, as we mentioned earlier, the lipid content is very low and has a thick, thick picture of lichen cell wall. So ethanol treatment cannot remove the crystal wine stain that is bound to thick vector like a wall so that the bacteria can retain the stain and we, we could see that bacteria uh, under the microscope as violet colored. But in the case of cram negative bacteria, as we mentioned, the, the lipid color is very high. So upon ethanol treatment, lipids are dissolved in ethanol uh, and so that the vector like and wall may not be able to retain the crystal violet stain as in the case of cram negative bacteria. So gram negative bacteria lose violet color. So at this stage we could not see this gram negative bacteria under the microscope. So in order to visualize gram negative bacteria, we need to add a counter stain like saponin. So after adding saponin, we could see gram negative bacteria under the microscope in pink color. So this is the final result. Cram positive bacteria appear violet in color, that is the color stain color of crystal violet, even after ethanol treatment. So, in order to visualize cram negative bacteria, we need to counter stain with saponin. At the end, if cram negative bacteria is present, we will be getting cram negative bacteria in pink or red color, that is the color of saponin. This is the summary of procedure and this is reagent preparation. For detailed notes, visit www.biologyexamsquarry.com. Thanks for watching.